Hello, my beautiful Virgos. Welcome to my channel. This is your favorite fortune teller, Divine Light. And today I'm going to do a coffee cup reading for the month of September. And due to the general nature, and I'm not going to say that anymore because you can look at it in the descriptions. And uh, I'm just going to speak, skip to your reading right away, okay? And let's go and let's look at it. And um, I want to flip a card, and two cards actually for you, okay? And this is, I cannot make this up. This is seven and eight. And this deck is shuffled, by the way. We have the seven of cups and eight of cups. And when I'm doing your reading, I'm going to explain what they mean to you, okay? I see three different piles of money and one of them emerging and just becoming one, as you can see. Oh my God, you can see the eye in the bottom of the cup. There's an eye. This is not a bad thing. This can also be a chunk of money, but also an eye, meaning somebody's watching you, okay? Somebody has their eyes on you and uh, they might be admiring or also they're thinking that uh, you are doing so well and so great or you will be doing so well and great and they're going to have their mm, eyes in admiration, maybe a little bit envy. In order to get rid of somebody else's negative energy, the best way is just step on the earth, take a salt bath, and even have the intention when you're taking a shower, like letting go of the energy of others that doesn't serve you, okay? I see a huge fish here. This also looks like a hill to me. So maybe <clears throat> in order to manifest this huge fish, which fishes symbolize in coffee cup readings, money, wealth, and abundance. So in order to manifest that, maybe you need to get over, skip over this hill. Uh, this can be a challenge. This can also be a mindset that you're holding on to, okay? Um, I'm going to give an example. This doesn't have to apply to you. Uh, maybe you keep thinking that uh, it's so hard to make money because that was your experience all your life long, which can be. Um, so it's possible because everybody, not everybody is making money so easily, okay? I listen to these manifestation coaches and they say, okay, it's so easy, it's so easy. It's so hard to change a belief. And if you have this belief as a hill in front of you, and um, you need to find your own way to change it, okay? Because everything can be changed in the universe. So uh, whatever this is, like I said, I see this is the money-related belief you have. Maybe something deep down in your core, when you something that you heard when you're a child holding you back. But this month, I see this is appearing and this message is coming through me. I feel like you're going to be finding towards the end of this month, um, you're going to be finding this belief, whatever it is, and the solution and overcoming that, okay? You're going to release this into the sunlight, whatever is holding you back, and which will actually start to gain so much momentum. You see, there's a, also another big fish. This is coming from an outside, which is another country coming from. And I see here, this scene reminds me of whatever is happening here, okay? Maybe there's something in your life you need to move on. This is the message. Eight of uh, Cups is actually emotionally walking away from something that doesn't serve you, okay? And I see like this crescent moon on the bottom and there's a, like a light moon. It's not a crescent moon, but it's just a new moon. So the need to move on, seeking more from life than you, what you are expecting, a spiritual quest, choosing to make big life changes, a change in priorities, leaving home. doesn't have to mean that you're leaving home. Uh, this is actually leaving whatever doesn't serve you behind, okay? So like I said, you're walking away from something into something else, which is actually like you're actually in a state of... Um, calm and quiet i see the, the you can see the silhouette of a bull here i'm going to show you right away where's my little feather you can see the bull the face here the horns okay bull represents masculinity masculinity can be someone very masculine in your life appearing and you can see it's inside is empty filled with light that's how um is interpreted in uh, coffee cup readings so it's filled with light so this person can be someone illuminating light can be a taurus or also someone with a lot of masculine energy meaning someone who takes massive action okay or this can be you embodying this energy massive action doesn't mean mindless action because it's two different things just doing something mindlessly doesn't usually bring you the, your desires what brings is massive inspired action 
inspired action is actually something related to whatever gives you the most joy okay so um in the beginning of the month if this is you your energy and uh, you're gonna have this massive inspiration coming into your life and then you're gonna move on maybe go to places meet with people i see somebody's holding a cup offering it to you can be a new emotional offer can be something which will give you emotional fulfillment maybe a new job offer new place like something which will actually uh, open up a new perspective for you and give you this mm, emotional fulfillment that you're desiring as well and right up like you can see somebody here like you're right here and this person has a giraffe's head in her hand by the way okay a giraffe spirit i'm gonna look it up now i have a desk um a desk a deck oh my gosh i couldn't speak <laughs> I, I have a deck and it has like animal spirits inside of it. And I'm going to look at the meaning of giraffe and let's see what it is actually telling us. And um, giraffes are very fragile animals, first of all. Okay. In their nature. And I don't know if I'm making this up, but I heard somewhere that they when they fall down, they cannot actually... Uh, get back up that's why they're very fragile however they have the opportunity to see everything from above okay so maybe it's time for you to embody that energy okay and it says the message here is actually see the big picture um the giraffe can reach up to the top of the trees and can eat like feed itself from there and um it's the message is actually overall telling you to just reach your neck up and try to see uh, expand your vision expand your seeing um you know the the perspective that you have whatever that you're seeing and um look beyond whatever that your eyes can see okay and uh, the Holy Spirit is actually sending you a perspective that you're going to be able to see more of the things you desire. So I'm going to interpret this giraffe's head that way, okay? Because she's lifting it up, uh, I'm going to interpret this as like there is going to be uh, maybe someone, maybe something is going to happen in your life which will change your perspective, which will raise you to higher levels so you're going to be able to see the big picture sometimes we get stuck in small details and if you're in that position because i see a lot of people surrounding you even if like a bear right here you have any like you can see the partial face of a bear right there bear can be someone with authority power and strength and maybe this person's um, existence or maybe even spirit this can be from someone from your past maybe like a past family member their spirit uh, their shadow may be uh, preventing you to see any further um, but there is going to be actually a major transformation you're going to start to see from a higher perspective this might be caused by someone looks like a woman to me a female character this might, person might have the letter l in their name in the first name or the last name you can see the letter l and this is going to happen within the towards the end of the first week of september so which comes to my mind is maybe if you're planning to take a step to see a personal uh, development um, kind of like a speaker or someone like that it just popped into my mind the female is a uh, not the tony robbins i want to say tony robbins but she's not that he's not a female um there's another person uh, she actually started this five minutes five seconds rule uh she says like uh, your mind can be interrupted if you have something in your mind and if you don't get up in five seconds and do it your mind can just give you doubts and interrupt you so whatever you want to do okay you want to go for a walk count to like from five to zero and just jump and do it okay I cannot just Robbins, some Mel Robbins. Mel Robbins is her name, okay? So uh, you can just check out what she's saying, but there's going to be a message coming through you, uh, to you, and this will actually elevate your life within the weekend of the first week. I also see a rooster here shining from uh, the darkness. Rooster actually wakes us up to a new day and, uh, you know, starts a new day. So this can be someone or something or an event happening is actually going to open your eyes to a new day. New opportunities are going to be presented to you. And within the second week, I see here someone standing.
understanding who's going to bring you the, those opportunities as well you see there's another like this looks like chicken which also symbolizes a lot of abundance people like if you're in sales whatever this thing that you're doing I see a lot of people are attracting to attracted to it, attracted to you, okay? Keep an open mind always. I also see beautiful white paper. I'm not going to say white paper because this doesn't form like a paper, but there is actually an opening, a relaxation in the third week. You're going to have some relaxed time. And like I said, this money is appearing also this eyes appearing in the money format and i see uh, two people just one of them looks like he has like a mustache putting their heads together and creating something maybe just thoughts and stuff and that is actually attracting a lot of people as well and this attraction whatever this is looks like a tree as you can see a tree of life this doesn't still have like this doesn't have the roots yet first of all but it is developing you see the phone lines are forming you're connecting with others maybe online maybe um you know through phones, TV, like this is, I know too far-fetched, but whatever this is, it's going to grow fast, okay? And I want to the second, the first card that I pull, I'm going to explain this to you. Like I said, you're walking away from something that doesn't serve you and you have so many things in your plate, okay? Maybe so many different options or so many different things you want to do. Seven of Cups indicates um, making a choice, okay? In the indecision. And this message here says, make a choice, stop procrastinating or overanalyzing. Get clarity on what you desire and move towards to move forward. Too many options, addictions. I don't actually uh, agree with that addictions part or too many options part, but I feel like you have too many skills in your, uh, you know, tool belt. And um, you're trying every single one of them, but eventually you can see the tree of life starting to grow. So one of them is going to start working okay one of them is going to work i also see this reminds me of devil maybe that's why i just telling you addictions devil card has that uh, characteristic and it's also a capricorn but um devil can be obsessiveness okay maybe there is something that you're working on and you're expecting the results right away you want the results to come right away and that's why you're feeling this discomfort um of like obsessive thinking and um, I'm not going to say I'm not the expert of any of letting go. So, um, you know, but if that's the situation in your life right now, just be aware that this is the showing up in the cup. And maybe this is not even you. It's someone in your life giving you the negative discomfort, discomfort uh, energy, you know. So be aware of that person and just uh, protect your own space, protect your own energy, okay? All right, guys, I'm going to get into your plate now. If you have a question, desire, and intention, just hold it in your mind, and let's see what the answer is going to be for that one. Okay, I see a huge whale showing right away. Your desire has some time, but here, huge whale. Uh, whales, always a good sign, because um, whale can be someone very loving, caring, very wealthy, coming into your life, or can be also indication of big money showing up for you. Right about the time that the eye appeared in the cup, the whale is showing too. So uh, somebody is going, you're going to catch someone's eye. You just see, your desire has some time, but when the time comes, it's just coming so fast. I see somebody here. Maybe somebody is going to help you make it happen and appearing here. I also said like the whale can be someone actually going to give you a hand to make things happen for yourself. Or um, this is like a huge opportunity coming into your life. I see a person here that you're attached to from belly can be a family member. They're also getting involved. You want them to get involved and they're getting involved. But I see you're bigger than them. Even if you're not in the age wise, physically, whatever this is, you're bigger than them. Your energy is wider, wiser and bigger. So trust your own energy because you are the one creating your own truth, your own world. You see, you are actually embodying here. You can see your face. You are the one putting them up to work. Okay. And I see beautiful rose appearing here. You can see the little leaf here and the rose. So if you're manifesting love, for sure, that is actually going to be showing up for you as well. I'm going to pull up a quick message for you from this uh, Starlight uh, deck. Let's see for the month, this month, what you need to know, what you need to do for yourself. Okay, awesome. 
breakthrough for a star to be born it must first collapse this is not your destruction this is your birth so let the things doesn't serve you go because you're going to create a better life for yourself i think that's what i'm hearing and you can see like the black hole is forming and collapsing to create this beautiful star which is you okay all right my lovelies that's all for today hope you enjoy your reading if you do don't forget to give this one a thumbs up and if you want to see more go ahead and subscribe to my channel i wish you all a magical day bye